Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is back in a courtroom in New York City right now. Witness testimony is underway in his criminal trial. Trump is accused of falsifying records to cover up a payment made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels to hide an alleged affair. Earlier this morning, the judge held a hearing on new allegations that Trump violated the gag order in the case. He did not make an immediate ruling. CBS News national correspondent Errol Barnett is outside the courthouse and has been following the story for us and joins us now. So what's the latest, Errol? Hey there, Vlad and Anne-Marie. Great to see you both once again. We can give you a bit of insight into the conversations underway inside the courtroom as it relates to that gag order, four additional gag order violations the prosecution says Trump has made. Judge Juan Merchant specifically pointing um, to comments that Trump made, the prosecution says, in which he criticized the jury. This was an April 22nd phone interview, so not too long ago, where Trump said, quote, the jury was picked so fast, 95% Democrats. They're mostly all Democrat. Um, it's a Democrat area. It's unfair. It's an unfair situation. Um, and Mershon then asked Trump's attorney, look, he's saying the jury is mostly Democrat. Um, this is clearly talking about the jury. And Blanche uh, defended those comments and saying, well, he didn't speak about any specific juror. Um, and as your honor is aware, we do believe this troll trial is political uh, persecution. Then the, the judge also referenced comments that Trump well, made at a construction at site. You guys may remember. <laughs> Sorry. A comment that Trump made at a construction site when he was asked um, how he feels about David Pecker. That's the former publisher of the National Enquirer who was testifying at that moment. And Trump had complimentary comments saying, look, he's a nice guy. Um, and the judge said regarding that, saying, look, this trial is no surprise to anyone. A former president of the U.S. is on trial. He's a leading candidate in the Republican Party. And as far as these witnesses, they're not defendants. They're, they're subject to this gag order. And so the judge has not made a decision yet in what to do about these four additional gag order violations, but he seems to agree with the prosecution's position that these comments are outside the lines of what any criminal defendant can say and do during a trial. And so we wait for that judgment and testimony, meantime, from Keith Davidson, who is crucial in this. He's the lawyer who represented Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal as they negotiated their so-called hush money payments. And he's right now testifying about not just what happened at the election of 2016, but the months after when Michael Cohen was despondent at not uh, possibly getting a job in Washington. The defense will pounce on that and use it as an example of why Michael Cohen's legitimacy is to be questioned and why he has an ax to grind with Donald Trump. Remember, he's his former fixer and lawyer. Uh, Cohen pleaded guilty to his role in this hush money scheme. He's already spent time for that, and he's willing to testify in this trial as part of the prosecution's case. So a lot of maneuvering this morning um, as it relates to potential gag order violations and more testimony from a man who was central to this entire scheme, these 34 uh, criminal counts as it relates to repayments for the hush money payments in the first place. So, uh, Arrow, the lawyers uh, are taking to the stand, but can we, maybe you've reported this or perhaps not, um, when can we expect Stormy Daniels on the stand or Karen McDonald's? Google. So, Vlad, it's a great question. Look, because of all of these gag order violations the prosecution has alleged, a decision was made early in this trial to not release publicly the witness list. A really unusual step in any trial. The prosecution says it's necessary because Donald Trump is likely to criticize all of the people you see on your screen. We already know that he doesn't like Michael Cohen. Hope Hicks is his former campaign press secretary and was with Trump in the White House. Um, Stormy Daniels is the adult film star at the center of all of this, alongside Karen McDougal. Now, both of them have the um, NDAs and agreements not to discuss this publicly. So we expect everybody on your screen to be called as witnesses, but the prosecution doesn't uh, allow the press, the public, to know who's next until the night before. In fact, this morning, we wouldn't, uh, we're not certain of who will follow Keith Davidson when he testifies. But that's why we can say we believe uh, those folks will be key and will testify as part of this. But Vlad, we just don't know until the day before or even a few hours before court proceedings get underway. All right, Errol Barnett, thank you.